So on this example, um, what this problem reads, guys, is it says the ratio of sides of a triangle are 975 with a perimeter of 191 inches. Find the measure of each side. Now, we kind of have a, an issue with this, and I want to say, well, all right, does nine, remember perimeter is the sum of all the, of the lengths, right? So does 9 plus 7 plus 5 give you 191? No. no. All right. Now remember what also, when I said when we write ratios, we like to write them in simplified form. So let me give you an example of a triangle. And let's talk about the angles for a second. Let's pretend this is uh, 30. Well, let's not do 30. Let's do that's 45, 45, and 90. If I was going to write a ratio of these triangles, or of these angles, the ratio of these would be 45 is 45 is to 90, right? You, that's how they compare. That's how all the sides of the triangle repair, re, um, compare to each other. Does everybody agree with that? OK. But is that simplified? No, you can divide 45 into all of those. So really, the ratio of the sides is 1 to 1 to 2, right? And what we want to do is we want to be able to determine, well, how do I, you know, how do I get from 45 to 45, 45 to 90 to 112. I divided by 45. But let's say I took that away and I say, hey, here's the ratio of the angles. Here's the ratio of the angles. What is actually the real angles of the triangle? Let's say you didn't know they were 90, 45, and 45. So what we would do is we'd actually have to write an equation. x plus x plus 2x equals 180. All right, where x is what is going to be the factor that we multiplied or divided to be able to get our angles. So therefore, I would solve this, which I'd get 4x equals. OK, thank you. Uh, is she supposed to be in here? OK. 4x would be 180, divide by 4, divide by 4. x would equal 45. Therefore, you can now see that the new ratio would be 45, 45, 90. So ladies and gentlemen, what we're going to be doing, sorry. Huh? Yeah. Is there a problem? You're not, are you writing, do you have it down? I don't get it. OK. So let's look at this problem. This problem. They say that your ratio is 9, 7, and 5. But ladies and gentlemen, that we know those are not the actual lengths. We know those are not the actual lengths. So what we need to do is we need to figure out what, are we, what did we divide those actual lengths by to get our reduced um, ratio of 9, 7, and 5. So what I need to do is I'm going to write up 9x plus 7x plus 5x equals 191.1. So you set an equation with this variable x. And again, x is going to be our factor that reduces our side lengths. So now I can simplify this. So I have 16x, so I have 21x. All right, and I'm just going to use a calculator. So now I can say 191.1 divided by 21 equals 9.1. Therefore, x equals 9.1. So the ratio is 975, but guys, what are actually the real what are actually the real lengths? Well, my reduction factor is 9.1. So now what I do is I just multiply each of these by that value. So therefore, I have 9 um, times 9.1 be 89.9 or 81.9. Uh, this is going to be 63.7. And this is going to be 45.5. So then, eighty-one point nine seven times 9.1. I write it wrong. So then if I add 
81.9 plus 63.7 plus 45.5, I get 191.9. So you can see the sum of all of these is equal to 191.1, which is exactly what we want, right? Because it says find the actual measure of the sides where it equals 191. Okay? And that's it. So, what you guys are going to do today in class?